Good morning! Is this an awkward spot to vlog? Nah, I think we'll be fine. So, guys, guys, I'm wearing a beanie right now. It's like 30 degrees outside, and we still have to go, obviously, we still have to go exercise. Because it's the army, that's how we do it. Anyway, so, today's the 20, I'm filming on the 29th. That means I have 11 days until my powerlifting meet. That means I have seven days till I leave for Texas, and I'm excited. And yesterday, I was kind of looking through, I, I logged into Facebook yesterday, and I saw like an old picture of me from three years ago, and I was like, whoa. Like, I compared it to, to a picture that I took a, couple, like a month ago, and I put it side by side. I'll put it right here. And that kind of inspired me because I was thinking of what, like, the reasons why I got into fitness. And then I reflected on that to what I'm actually doing with fitness right now. I'm doing more competing right now, focusing on myself and all that. And the reasons why I got back, why I got into fitness was to help people who weren't as confident like I was in the past or didn't think they could do it. So I wanted to help people like that, inspire them to change their lives and live a better life through through fitness. So that's kind of the main reason why I started. I realized that I've been that I've gotten away from that. I've gotten more and it's not like I don't want to compete. So I'm still going to keep competing, but I realized that I need to focus also on more of like coaching and helping people, not just like coaching for money or for like my benefits, it's coaching for my friends' benefits and all that stuff. So helping other people out when they need it. So that's why I got into fitness. That's what I realized yesterday. and. That's why right now, well actually yesterday morning I posted and I posted an Instagram post, I'll put it right here, and I pretty much said, hey, I'm running a Christmas cut challenge and it's going to be totally free to the public. So, well, it, it was free to the public for the, f I think I filled up, I want to say I filled up 20 spots in about two hours, which is pretty good for never having publicized coaching on that level before. Yes, I have my information on on like on my social media and all that, but I don't really put it out to people. They have to come to me and ask me and then I'll be like, "Hey, yes, I have this." So I actually put it out and I got a pretty good response from it. So, yeah, it's totally free uh, Christmas cut challenge. There will be a prize at the end. I haven't figured out what it is yet, but I will be doing like a bunch of voting polls and things like that to see what like the grand prize or the top three prizes could be for that. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So throughout the month of December, I will be helping people with their fitness goals, seeing where they can get them. And it's not that, it's not like a one-time thing. It's something that you're going to learn from and you're going to be able to continue throughout your your fitness career so it's a stepping stone it's not just something that I'm gonna give to you and then you, I'm gonna I'm not gonna talk to you about it anymore like the regular cookie cutter cookie cutter programs so that being said I hope you um, that being said I hope um, this inspires some people to get up and uh, shoot me a message on Instagram or Twitter or just email me all my information will be down below. If I get enough of a response in the next couple of days, I might open up like 10 or 15 more slots. And if we do go that big of a platform, then I will have to uh, get some people to help me because it'll be a lot of people for one month to keep track of. So we'll see how that goes and we'll roll with it. So yeah, enjoy the Christmas cut challenge. And with that being said, let's get started with our day. Another typical breakfast, I got my waffle, but this time it's blueberries, and then peanut butter on top. I've got my protein shake here, apple and yogurt.
like Chipotle, got a tortilla on the side like always. And this guy already finished his burrito. Oh, but you're on a diet. You can't eat Chipotle. That's bad. Once again, <laughs> stop.